sneaky and welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new don't mind my hair we're about to do as you can tell by the title um i'm going to be showing you guys how one of the ways that i style my short hair i recently cut my hair i'll put the video up here somewhere and yeah i was tired of it because it just wasn't growing in a nice way so i was like you know what let me just cut it and i did and i actually really love it and i've been trying to find different ways to style it so I did this yesterday or the other day, and that video I think would probably be out before this one. And I was like, yo, this is a cute look. So I was like, all right. So I just thought I would do like a mini tutorial on it just because I was looking up tutorials on how to do my hair and stuff like that. And it's not hard. And I'm sure it's common sense, but like, why not? So yeah, let's just get into it because this this look different yeah you know? i don't really know if i'm lying in it like that right now so okay so basically i have leftover gel from my hair yesterday so what i did i took my spray bottle and this is a key even when you have just washed your hair and let it dry um i dampened it with just some water it has a little bit of the garnier fructis um curl buttercream curl cream in it um, just a little bit though, not too much, but this is mainly water because I had to fill it back up. So I kind of sprayed my hair. I'll do it again. As you can tell, it looks curly because she's out. And then I took my comb, my white tooth comb, and I combed through it because yes, there's a gel in it, but I just want to get, at, I want to get a look as if I had just washed my hair and was doing my hair again. So yeah, I'm taking off the ring because nasty when the products get in there so what i did for this look i basically just took my favorite eco styler which is this one the argan oil i also like the olive oil but i i love the way this one smells like like come on i took it on my hands and i rub it in and i kind of just disperse it throughout my hair evenly like this i also parted my hair the way i wanted my hair was already parted i parted it to the side and i used um my little comb so yeah I didn't mind this look when I did it and I was like oh, could this be a new way I wear my hair so yeah I'm gonna take some more and I'm gonna put it on the back to make sure the back is slicked down now I don't let's say slick my hair all the way down in the back like i was leaving it curly which i didn't mind the look of at all because like you know my hair is slick and then you have like the little curls but you can slick it down as you please if you feel like you need to straighten your hair and then do this so that everything is down you can but the point of me kind of cutting my hair and everything was to get it back to its original curl pattern and its thickness because it was just messed up i kind of explained it a little bit in the video so like i said it'll be over here so i'm gonna take just like small pieces of curls that are left and i take like leftover gel and i kind of twist like curl the curls to make them more curly and kind of put the product in and so you see we have our slick hair it does not take long it literally took me five minutes not even um so yeah and i just sometimes i'll add in a little more where i feel like i need it and yeah so even in the back you just want to make sure that i noticed that i did have like let's say a line in my hair so you want to just make sure in the back that there are no lines you can use a mirror to check that so but i ordered different things to do my hair so i want to try finger waves again because low-key my other video was me trying to do finger waves and that just didn't work out so i did this but i actually really like this um but yeah i take the smaller end of the brush and i kind of just really make my part known i let her be known i like to part it on the right side of my head just because i feel like that looks best on me you part it on whatever side if you want a middle part it's yellow middle part period I'm taking the end of this e.l.f. duo eyebrow brush. I use a spoolie to do my edges. I did order an edge brush recently from Amazon, and it should be coming in actually today. So I'm trying, I'm, I'm, eh. I got distracted. I can't wait to try it out. But what I do, I take a little bit of gel, and then I dab like excess on the cap. 
just to make sure I'm not taking too much. And I kind of um, go in first and apply more gel. And then I take what I want and I create my swoops how I like. Obviously you do as you please. But this is what I did and do. And then I just like to have the little curl out. I don't know, I just like that look. I'm trying to learn how to do it where it like sticks to my face more. And I tried that, but it didn't work for me. But when it does, I'll let y'all know. I was thinking, um, cause this gel, it sticks my hair down but like, it's not, it doesn't make my hair hard or anything. That's what I like about it. I was thinking of using got to be, but I was like, yo, like that would just be too much on my hair. I feel like I did the same thing on this side. And I also sometimes like to like roll the little curls like on my, the end of my spoolie. I don't know, I'm weird. Yeah, and then I'll go through and like if there's like any really short pieces and stuff I try and stick them down because especially in the back for me for some reason I just have shorter pieces after I cut my hair so I just do two swoops on each side this side is like less intense than this side is but it's fine with me and then I have my little curls out because I do have the curls out in the back um yeah I don't mind the curls in the back to be honest um, but, and, yeah, that is how I've basically been doing my hair and it literally takes me less than five minutes and this was me washing my hair yesterday but I had done my hair so I literally, all I did was spray it with some water with a little bit of the Garnier Fructose Curl Cream, just a little, like literally just a little bit and you shake it up. And then um, to make it a little damp, to redo it, to make it look um, like a cleaner look, just because like I tried to do it without doing that and I did not like it at all. And sometimes even afterwards, I'll spray my hair with water just because, I don't know. But make sure you kind of like slick it because like because your hair is so slick, it'll literally look like a splotch of water on your head and like, I don't really want that. So... I also found what I love to do with this look is wear like some really big hoops. So like, let me go find some really big hoops and I'll come back. Cause like, it just completes the look, you know? Like, it just completes the look, period. Okay, so today I went for a smaller hoop, but I love these. I felt like they went with the look. And like low key when I was like doing my look, I was like, I gotta put these on. So I did. And, but that is that. Like, that's how you can just lay your short hair, slick her down, do some edges and call it a day sweetie but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video and comment down below don't forget to check out my most recent videos of me cutting my hair my first time styling my hair like this and yeah so um and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one bye